in, in setting that up uh, over the course of uh, the summer and into the fall to make for the virtual environment the best it possibly can be for our students. Um, starting with our class of 2020 uh, that was sort of left in the lurch uh, last spring, uh, we really, I, I thought, did everything we could to send them off in the proper way and to do right by our students. Uh, we are prioritizing our seniors, but of course not leaving behind any of our other students as we all are going through this together, but recognizing that we want for our seniors to have a special experience and a very positively memorable one uh, in their time as they conclude Fairlawn High School. Uh, luckily for us, we're continuing our one-to-one -one initiative as we have, as we are uh, awaiting for the new laptop devices to come for our incoming freshmen and uh, other, our other students uh, certainly, you know, have our freshmen, or excuse me, our sophomores and juniors have them now. And we've been able to get uh, enough devices uh, for our seniors as well so that they can access their online education. And luckily that was coming in just as uh, right before this, this, this COVID hit. Uh, one thing that's great, you'll hear very brief from Mr. Robinson, is that we have started our activities. Our fall athletics and our marching band have been on. They've been on our fields outside. Uh, we're going to be, as you'll hear from Ms. Hayek, starting our student activities as well, uh, virtually. So we're getting our, our extracurricular programs up and running to match our educational programs. And there will be, we will do one uh, other orientation before our big return on October 19th, in-person instruction, to go over all the protocols that are going to be necessary for students as they come back into the building. Um, so what is our environment? What we pride ourselves on to be welcoming, safe, and appropriately challenging. We offer a rigorous academic program here, and we offer a welcoming and safe environment for all of our students. We recognize that there's an additional strain that has come from the pandemic, uh, that uh, it has had an emotional impact, that there's a tremendous amount of anxiety on the part of our students and the part of our families, and quite frankly, on the part of ourselves as staff, so that we all need to take extra care to um, really take care of one another. Um, as we know, of course, there are very impactful social and political movements taking place in this country in terms of social justice, in terms of the current political environment. And that is something that is, as a microcosm of, of our society at large, that is something that impacts us in the school environment as well. So we want to create an environment whereby uh, students can exchange ideas uh, in a respectful and positive manner uh, and come to greater understanding. Social emotional learning and care, uh, you'll hear from uh, Ms. Papadix and uh, Mr. Rosamano of our school climate team who will talk a little bit about, uh, you know, how we support students in our child study team and our guidance department. Ms. Matina as our vice principal is here as well as supervisor to speak about that, um, but it's, it's very important to us to maintain that environment at the high school. And to understand that, you know, no matter what our backgrounds are, that what we come together here for one purpose, and that is to be Fairlawn High School Cutters and to make the most of the experience here at Fairlawn High School. The recognitions, we're not going to toot our own horn too much. Um, I think we're very proud of the programs that we have here, and we're not the only ones that think so. Um, other publications and outside rating services think so. Uh, because we do have outstanding academics, as you see, and we've added, you know, uh, more uh, more and more offerings uh, every year, including in, in, in the STEM fields. Uh, and we get outstanding results each and every year here at Fairlawn High School. And we're very, very proud of those. Our co-curricular program, as I mentioned before, is very rich, uh, has so many opportunities for students in the fine and performing arts, uh, and you know, is, is, is just a real source of pride for our high school. Our extracurricular activity, there really truly is something for every student here. Uh, and our student government is robust. And once we have that up and running, which will be happening shortly, uh, the student voice is one that we value very much at our high school. It's something that we, that we valued very much as we planned events for our senior class, uh, you know, uh, as they left. Even the walking ceremony that took place over the summer was something that really primarily was, was planned by the students, the graduates. And, and we worked with them and guided them through that process. Our athletics, of course, we're very proud of as well, uh, and all of our sport offerings that we have for our students. Our college and career offerings are outstanding. Our dual enrollment um, courses, we have many opportunities for students to get college credit while they're here at the high school, including the Bergen Community College um, early, early college program, uh, whereby we have students right now in the current senior class who will be getting an associate's degree from Bergen Community College before they're even going to get their Fairlawn High School diploma. 
So we have students, you know, all around the country at some of the most prestigious universities, really accessing um, all the opportunities that were that were presented to them first here at our high school. Um, you know, our initiatives for this upcoming school year, of course, are, are very are very focused on on everything related to COVID preparation, and execution of a safe plan, strengthening our school climate in, in this in the wake of all of our challenges. Um, continuing our one-to-one -one and improving our virtual learning and other environments and continuing to make improvements to our facilities. It's a shame that, that you know, we can't all be here in the school to see this, but there's been tremendous uh, improvements to our auditorium, our gym, and there really are, are going to be sources of pride and many, many uh, great events to come in the future. Um, so a uh, very quick FYI before I turn this over to, to the remainder of our, of our uh, participants here. Um, you're going to follow your child's uh, class schedule today. Uh, you'll be, you were provided information uh, in the Google Classroom pages of, of each of the teachers uh, for, those, uh, eight, the, for those 10 minute periods. And there were also, as I had shared with you uh, in a document that I had emailed out, uh, there are opportunities for drop-ins for student support services. All right, so that's guidance, child study team, our nurses, and our uh, school testing coordinator. Uh, also, our, uh, our media specialist and our instructional tech coach are going to be available. And then uh, later on in the evening, uh, myself, our athletic director, and uh, Ms. Hayek are going to be available as well to, uh, to address any questions that you have about athletics and student activities. So I thank you once again for being with us and uh, enjoy, enjoy, enjoy uh, your experience this evening. And now I'm going to stop sharing and I am going to turn it over first to Ms. Matina, our vice principal. Hi everyone, good evening and thank you for joining us. I'm Nicole Matina, the Vice Principal and Supervisor of our Guidance Department. It's my job to make sure that you are aware of all of our academic offerings and that your students have the opportunity to access the educational programming that best suits them um, so that your experience and your child's experience can be a positive one. So reach out to your counselors, reach out to me if you have any questions, we are here to support you. Um, I hope that this year is a happy and healthy one for you and your families and that you enjoy meeting all of your children's teachers tonight. Thank you. Thank you, Ms. Matina. Next up is Dr. Baptiste Bosco, who is uh, the assistant for grades 9 and 11. Good evening, everyone. I'm Dr. Stephanie Baptiste Bosco, myself and Mr. Guadagnino down there saying hi. Uh, we are the assistant principals at the high school. We are here to support your children. Um, we deal with attendance, we deal with discipline, but we're basically here to support your children in this journey at the high school. So please feel free to reach out to us anytime, um, whether it's remote or when we're in person, we're just definitely here to support. We really hope you have a really successful night. And if you have any questions, you know, reach out. So thank you. Thank you, Dr. B. Mr. Guanino, you good? I just say welcome to everybody tonight. And for those of you that this is your last back to school night, congratulations, it's mine. And uh, you know, enjoy the teachers, it's a great school. Encourage your children to get involved with athletics and activities and uh, enjoy everything Fallon High School has to offer. Thank you, Mr. Mr. Guanino. He mentioned athletics, so Mr. Robinson is up next. Sounds good. Good evening, everybody, and welcome back to our 2021 school year. While this will be a different type of school year, it's still gonna be very exciting and it's gonna be a memorable one for all of our student athletes. On September 14th, we welcomed our fall sports, marching band, cheerleading teams back to the uh, fields. And it was great to see their smiling faces and their overall enthusiasm and their energy. It was really great to see them, how they interacted with their coaches and we're about, I guess, 10 days into it, and um, we've been taking temperatures when the kids have arrived. Our nurse, our trainer, our athletic secretary, our student activities coordinator, everybody's involved in really helping drive the bus and keep us moving in a straight direction. As Mr. Gorski said, uh, seventh and eighth period later on, we'll be available to uh, take any questions, and uh, hopefully at that time, maybe I'll be able to give a little bit more specifics as far as the winter, spring, and the girls volleyball program, which is uh, not participating right now, but that's uh, something we could discuss maybe a little bit later. So um, thank you, and I look forward to seeing everybody later on. 
Thanks, Mr. Robinson. Yeah, it really has been been amazing, you know, our, our, the, for the first students coming back for us and, and that, you know, we're now uh, you know, into our second week of, uh, of, of students uh, participating in our activities. And, um, you know, there was a lot, there's been a lot of work that, that went into that um, to, you know, ensure that safe return. And, and we want to keep that positive momentum going. Uh, Ms. Hayek, who is our coordinator of student activities, is up next. Hello, everyone. Uh, welcome to our first ever virtual back to school night. Uh, as Mr. Gorski said in his introduction, uh, Fairlone High School has a very robust uh, student activities program, uh, and that includes athletics as well as uh, clubs and activities. Despite uh, us being in a virtual environment right now, um, we have worked very hard through the summer uh, in the opening weeks of school to try to do everything we can to maintain our programs. I have been working very closely with several different uh, club advisors uh, to ensure that we can run those programs. So if your child was involved in an activity last year, uh, chances are that activity is running this year. Uh, and we're going to be rolling out those programs uh, in the coming weeks. Uh, this week coming up, uh, as well as next week and into October, uh, we're really excited to host our club fair. So our, our students who are new to the building will be able to see what sort of offerings we do hold. Uh, this will be our first ever virtual club fair, but we are going, we're, we're really dedicated to making sure that we can showcase all of these different activities. So uh, we just want you to know that we're really trying our best to uh, you know, make, you know, make this school year as normal as possible, despite how unusual it is uh, and unprecedented. Um, but uh, this, th I know I've been working very closely with the staff to make sure that that happens. Um, like Mr. Robinson and Mr. Gorski said, I will be in that session later on. So if you have questions that are specific to his student activities, we hope you join us later and we can address those specifically. Thank you. Thank you, Ms. Hick. Uh, and so I mentioned earlier in terms of our uh, social emotional uh, wellness, um, it, we had members of our uh, guidance department and child study team and, and they are up next, Ms. Papadix, who is our anti-bullying specialist and Mr. Rosamano with our child study team uh, really form a very potent, uh, you know, uh, membership in our school climate team, which, you know, comes together uh, to address, you know, issues and programming around uh, wanting to create that positive and safe school environment and culture for all of our students. Good evening, everyone. My name is Kara Papadix, one of the guidance counselors here. And as Mr. Gorski said, I'm the anti-bullying specialist. So my role is to investigate claims of harassment, intimidation, and bullying, and to ensure that our students' voices are heard. We expect our students to treat each other with respect and behave in a way that creates a supportive learning environment. The anti-bullying specialist, I also chair the school climate team. Uh, the school climate team meets once a month and focuses on implementing and improving ongoing practices that foster a positive school culture. Uh, we include on the school climate team different staff members from varying departments, a fair parent, and we also have Mr. Rusamano, who is a member of the child study team. Hello everyone, good evening. Thanks for being with us. Uh, I'm Mr. Rusumano. I'm Mike Rusumano on the child study team. Not only uh, servicing the special education students in our building, but also all of the mental health support along with guidance for all of our Fairlawn High School students. Um, working with the administration and the school climate team and all the teachers and faculty, we do our best to make sure that we can not only be available to the students, but reach out to them through various things across the year with um, different types of uh, services that are available. We get ourselves out there and we try to do what we can to help anybody that's in need. So if anybody does have any concerns, questions, anything they wanna know, anybody on the child, see, child study team is available and we are happy to help. So please reach out. Thanks so much. Thank you very much. Uh, so now uh, you've met our, our staff at Fairlawn High School. It's, it's time to introduce uh, the leaders of the parent organizations that we value so much uh, that we partner with uh, to support our students. Um, it, truthful, it truthfully cannot happen without them. Uh, there are so many you know, programs and, and, and ways in which our students are supported uh, that are outside the walls of Fairlawn High School. And uh, it is these you know, parents that lead these organizations 
that uh, are going to speak a little bit about what those organizations are and how you hopefully can join them to support all the students of Fairlawn High School. So first up is uh, Ms. McClements, who is the president of the PTA, the Parent Teacher Organization. Good evening and welcome back to the 2020-21 school year. Uh, my name is Lisa McClements and I'm excited to embark on my first year as your PTA president. As an FLHS alumni myself, I understand the excitement of being a cutter and how important it is for your children to have the most amazing school experience they can have. Um, I'd like to take a moment to acknowledge the members of my executive PTA board. I know they're watching. I'd like to welcome our new vice president, Shannon Lyons, and offer a big welcome back to our corresponding secretary, Kathleen Chamberlain, treasurer, Tony Fasano, and recording secretary, Kim Tomesco. Our PTA meetings are scheduled for the first Wednesday of each month. Our first meeting will be held on Wednesday, October 7th at seven o'clock PM. This meeting will be held via Zoom as will all the following meetings until further notice. Um, please make your best effort to be, to be there to attend the virtual meetings as valuable information is always shared during those meetings. And I strongly encourage you to become a member of the PTA. It's truly one of the most rewarding experiences you can do with and for your child. And we welcome your contribution as members in any capacity in which you are able to give it, whether it be your time, your resources, or your creativity. Membership itself is $15 per individual or $25 for a family membership. You should all have received the group Vine email with the member hub registration information, but I will post it to the FLHS PTA Facebook page again um, for anybody who, who missed it the first time. Um, and just a friendly reminder for our senior parents that you must be a PTA member in order for your child to be considered for a PTA scholarship. So, so please join because you don't want them to miss out on the opportunity of receiving those scholarships. Um, and other than that, I want to thank you for your time tonight. I'm looking forward to meeting all of you um, along the way as we journey through this new kind of school year. I will always be available to you via email at pta.flhs at gmail.com to answer any questions you might have. I know sometimes it seems like, like Mr. Gorski said, like, you know, there's a lot of work to be done. And, and just because you don't hear from everybody every minute doesn't mean we're not working very, very hard for each and every one of your kids. Um, so um, enjoy the rest of your evening and have a great year. Thank you. Thank you very much, Ms. McClements. Uh, next up, uh, we have our uh, Friends of Music president, and that is uh, Ms. Defino. Hi and welcome. Thank you, Mr. Gorski, for the opportunity to talk to everyone about Fairlawn Friends of Music. We're a music PTA K through 12 in the Fairlawn School District. What we do basically is support music around the district. We do a lot of fundraising events to help offset costs of trips and other, um, other events throughout the district. We advocate for music in the district. We support music programs and spread the word about events in the district. And we also sponsor scholarship awards for high school seniors. Um, we, we would hope that you consider joining membership. In order to do that, we have our membership form is posted on Genesis. If you go through Genesis and go into the documents, you can join membership there. You can also join membership at flfom.com. You can do PayPal online payment, or you can send a form in. And you can also feel free to join our Facebook page. We have um, Fairlawn Friends of Music on Facebook. And you can also reach out to us via email, fairlawnfriendsofmusic at gmail.com. And that's really about it. We hope you join and hope you have a productive year. And thank you for your time. It's a great night and school year. Thank you, Ms. Defino. Uh, and uh, next up, we have our uh, Fairlawn Association of Special, Special Education leader, and that is uh, Ms. Jershauer. Hi, good evening, everybody. My name is Mel. I am president of FLACE. Um, FLACE uh, is an acronym for, like Mr. Gorski said, uh, Fairlawn Association for Special Education. Uh, we are also a parent teacher organization, and we've been working really hard at building a community here in town. 
Um, we offer enrichment programs throughout the district for, again, grades K, uh, pre-K, sorry, through 12. We offer programs, scholarships, support groups, teacher appreciation events, just name a few. Um, and we're planning on continuing our um, grant program for special education, which is also was very well received last year. Um, we're always, again, looking to expand and grow when, and with your support, we're able to, to be as successful as we are. So please consider joining our PTO. Uh, your $10 membership goes a long way in helping us be successful as an organization. You can find our membership form. You can pay directly on the district website. Uh, we're found on fairloanschools.org under students and parents or under all the individual schools under the parent tab. Um, and our membership form, you'll find it under uh, forms and flyers. If, you, um, if you're looking for some virtual workshops, we're gonna be starting some of those this year. For the first time, we used to do some in person. We're gonna move it virtual this year. So that's exciting. Um, and we have uh, a lot of initiatives and, and uh, awareness initiatives and goals that we'd like to unite and create acceptance throughout our district and support each other however necessary. Uh, if you're interested in learning more, I invite you to find us either on Facebook under FLACE, um, or you can email us, placepto at gmail.com. You can find us there. Uh, thanks again for having me. Um, thank you for listening. Have a great school year, everybody, and have a wonderful evening. Thank you so much. Thanks, Mr. Schauer. Uh, and in the cleanup spot, uh, Parents Committee for Athletics, Mr. Shiner. Hi, everyone. Welcome back. I'm uh, Shelly Shiner. I'm the vi uh, vice president for the PCA. The PCA stands for the Parents Committee for Athletics. For those unfamiliar with the PCA, our main focus is to support each and every sport at Fairlawn High School with fundraising initiatives, um, as well as college-bound student-athlete programming and scholarships for our graduating senior cutter athletes. We work closely with Mr. Robinson and the coaches to assist them in any capacity that they, uh, that they need. And we're looking to always enhance the sports and the programs here at Fairlawn High School. Um, every sport needs at least one representative, one parent representative, and we're always looking for volunteers to help out. We usually have in-person meeting once, once a month. However, due to the current situation, we're going to look to try and uh, have some meetings virtually. Um, if you have interest or you want to get involved, please email fairlawnpca, that's fairlawnpca at gmail.com. Um, we also have a vacancy on the board. Um, if you're interested in taking more of an active role, um, you can let us know. And just so uh, you know, uh, like I said, prior to that, I'm the vice president. Uh, my wife, Kelly Rooney Shiner, is the treasurer. And Alicia LaPierre is the secretary. So the, uh, the board uh, member that we're missing is uh, Sue, Sue Burek. Has recently, her, her term is up. And she did an absolutely fabulous job the past few years. So we are looking for someone to kind of take the reins and uh, spearhead it as a presidency. So I want to welcome everyone back and um, let's look forward to a great school year. Okay. Thank you, Mr. Shiner. Very much appreciated. So two things as we conclude here uh, before, before you get the big zoom wave from everybody, everyone has protect, perfected their zoom wave by this point. Um, one is uh, just please understand that, you know, this is a, this is a first virtual uh, a back to school night. We've done everything we can in working with the teachers to try to make this a secure environment. It's really, really important. So you know, there may be, if you end up getting shut out of a class session or something like that, please, I hope that you can be understanding of that. You know, the security is, is, is the most important thing as teachers are, you know, very concerned and we all are very concerned about the security of the environment as we have here. You'll always be able to follow up with a teacher or with me or with any staff member uh, at any point in time after tonight to go over things in more detail. So. Time for the big Zoom wave. Enjoy the first virtual back to school night, everyone. Thank you for attending. <laughs>